In this video, we're going to take a look at Crunchbase's all-in-one prospecting solution and how it enhances the sales workflow. Prospecting today is an extremely manual process that typically requires a salesperson to use multiple tools like search engines and social networks to find the right prospects and just as many tools to find the right contacts and connect with the decision makers that can move deals forward. This usually means having multiple tabs open in a browser, clicking from tab to tab, tool to tool. It's an absolute pain. Crunchbase was designed to make prospecting simple, effective, and all done in one place. Let's take a look at how Crunchbase can enhance your prospecting efforts, starting with advanced search. Advanced search optimizes the research phase in the sales workflow by enabling salespeople to proactively search for prospects that fit their ideal customer profile at scale. Now, let's take a look at an example of how to use advanced search to find your ideal prospects. Let's say I am an account executive at a high growth SaaS company and my ideal customer is a series B or greater company with over 100 employees in the healthcare industry. Here's how I might use advanced search. First, in order to access advanced search, we're going to go to the advanced search dropdown. From here, we have several options to choose from. We can search by companies, people, investors, and more. For this example, we're going to search by companies. Now that we're on the advanced search page, the first thing we want to do is update our territory preferences. This will ensure that the search results that we get are super relevant to who we sell to and where. For this example, we're looking for companies that are based in California, Seattle, and Oregon. Remember, we are a SaaS company that sells to the healthcare industry, so we have healthcare listed as the industry. And for number of employees, we're looking for companies that have at least 101 employees. So we're going to save these preferences. And notice, by default, we have over a million search results. When we apply our territory preferences, that number will change. So now we have a little over 1,700 search results, a much more targeted list of companies that are relevant to, again, who we sell to and where we sell. From here, we can add in additional filters to make our search query a lot more specific. So for example, maybe we're looking for companies that raise a Series B. And notice how the search results instantly change. Maybe we're looking for a company that raised a Series B that raised a minimum of $30 million. And now we have 12 companies. Very specific search query, and we get very specific search results. Now, as you're scrolling through the search results, if you have your Salesforce connected to Crunchbase via Crunchbase's Salesforce integration, you will instantly know which companies are and are not in your CRM. For the companies that are not in your CRM, you can add them with a click of a button and you'll be added as the account owner. It's that simple. And the best part is you don't have to manually go back into Salesforce just to see if a company is there or not. You can see everything within Crunchbase. An additional feature that helps you find even more relevant prospects is Crunchbase's company recommendation engine. Recommended companies are automatically displayed based on your activity while using Crunchbase. For example, the company pages you visit or your territory preferences. You can see recommended companies on company profile pages as well as going to the recommended tab in the top navigation. The best part is the more activities you do within Crunchbase, including giving a thumbs up or down for company recommendations, the smarter the recommendation engine gets, which means more relevant prospects for you. Besides relevant prospects, Crunchbase's recommendation engine will also tell you why companies are being recommended. This level of transparency will help you discover companies you potentially would have missed otherwise. Now that you know how to find companies using Crunchbase's advanced search, how do you know which prospects are the right ones to go after? This is where Crunchbase's buy signals come into play. Buy signals are data signals that indicate when a company is in a position to invest in their growth based on factors such as raising a new round of funding, new leadership hires, or even actively hiring across the company. These signals will help you prioritize the prospects you're reaching out to in order to maximize the effectiveness of your outreach. Let's take a look at buy signals in action. Back on the advanced search page, here's how we might use funding data, which is a buy signal, as a way to surface the companies that are in a good position to invest in their growth. First, we're going to apply our territory preferences. Next, we're going to go to the financials filters. If we were looking for later stage healthcare companies, for example, we might put in companies who have raised a series C, D, E, 
and higher. Looking at the results, we can see the first result, Vita Health, is in our CRM. However, we know they raised a Series C or higher. Let's take a closer look at this company's profile. Now on the company profile page, we're going to take a look at the company's latest financial activity by clicking on the Financials tab. If we take a look at Vita Health's latest financial activity, we can see that they raised a Series D in May of 2021. Digging a little further, we can see that the Series D was a substantial amount at $110 million. As a salesperson selling a product to healthcare companies, this is an example of a company that has money to invest in their growth and would likely be more receptive to sales outreach. Now that you know how to leverage buy signals to surface companies that are in a position to invest in their growth, how do you track and monitor them with Crunchbase? Let's take a look. Tracking a prospect's activity, such as when they raise capital, isn't an easy task today. There's a lot of manual work involved to ensure you have the most up-to-date information. With Crunchbase, tracking prospects and staying informed is super simple. Let's take a look. If we wanted to track Vita Health's activity over time, so we're updated if they raise additional funding in the future, or if they make strategic leadership hires, we can do so in one of two ways. The first way is on Vita Health's Crunchbase profile page. We can track the company's activity by saving it to an existing or a new list. To do this, all we need to do is click on the Save button and either save the company profile to an existing or new list. For this example, we're going to create a new list so that way we can add additional companies to it in the future. Next, we're going to select whether or not we want to receive daily or weekly email alerts. To see the list that we just made, we're going to click on the List drop-down menu and click All Lists. From this menu, you're able to see existing lists that you created, and you can also see which companies you've added to existing lists. You can also add companies from search results. All you need to do is click on the companies you want to add and click Save to List, and then select the list that you want to save the companies to. You can also edit Crunchbase's automated email alerts for a specific list. This comes in handy when you have a list that is high priority and you want to get instantly notified when an event occurs, such as raising a new round of funding. As a side note, you can also make your list public so you can share a URL with a teammate and they can access your list and all the information that's associated with it. Now, let's take a look at how teams can use Crunchbase. Crunchbase's prospecting software has built-in collaboration features that enable you to work with your teammates seamlessly within Crunchbase. Let's take a look. Crunchbase's shared notes feature enables you to communicate with your team within Crunchbase by adding notes to company profiles. To add a note, while on a company profile page, simply click Add Note. From there, you're free to add any type of text that you want. The notes feature comes in handy if you have specific intel about a company that you want your team to see. Shared tags is another Crunchbase collaboration feature that comes in handy for teams. Shared tags enable you to add tags to profiles to help segment companies. For example, if you're running a major sales campaign targeting sales qualified leads, you can create a shared tag that team members can use to call out the companies they want added to the campaign. To create and edit shared tags, as well as see what tags your team is using, go to the account dropdown and then click on account settings. Click shared tags in the left sidebar and then click create shared tag. Now, let's take a look at Crunchbase's contact data and how you can connect with decision makers without leaving the platform. Crunchbase's verified contact data and engagement suite add a whole new layer to prospecting. Combined with advanced search, buy signals, and the many useful features within Crunchbase built on top of best-in-class data, you get a true all-in-one prospecting solution. Now, not only can you find companies that match your ideal target prospects at scale, you can find the right people to connect with using contact data and reach out to them directly with engagement suite. Let's take a closer look. There are three ways to access contact data in Crunchbase. The first way is with advanced search. The sidebar now includes contact filters. These filters enable you to do things such as only surface companies that have contacts and companies that have contacts for specific job titles. As a quick example, when we apply our territory preferences, we can then go to the contacts filter and click on has contacts. Now we're surfacing the companies that are relevant to us that have contact information. Based on what we selected, we can also see how many contacts a company has for our specific criteria. In addition, if we clicked on a department, we can now search for companies that are relevant to us that have contact information for a specific department. The second way of accessing contact data is by going to the contacts tab on the advanced search page. 
Similar to searching through Crunchbase for specific companies, you can search through contact data within Crunchbase using advanced search. For example, if we're looking for executives at Crunchbase, we would click on the executive and VP options and then include Crunchbase in the works at this organization field to narrow down our search query and surface the exact contacts that fit our criteria. The third way of accessing contact data is on company profile pages. To access the data, click on the People tab. Scroll down to the Contact section, and from here, you can see executives as well as individual contributors. You can also search for specific names or job titles to narrow down your search. Once you've identified the person that you want to reach out to, you can take two actions. One, you can send them an email directly from Crunchbase. And two, you can push them as a lead to your Salesforce. Now, Let's take a closer look at sending emails directly from Crunchbase using Engagement Suite. Engagement Suite enables you to email prospects without leaving Crunchbase. This means no more separate tools, no more separate tabs. You can do all your outreach within Crunchbase. To access it, we're gonna go back to the People tab and scroll back down to Contacts, and then click on Actions, and then Send Email. This opens up Engagement Suite. Engagement Suite puts the power of Crunchbase's data in your hands. All you need to do is connect your email client with Crunchbase and you're off to the races. Use our email templates and snippets that leverage intelligence to save you time and create outreach that cuts through the noise. For example, if I wanted to reference industry funding in my email, I can do so with the click of a button. And insights from Crunchbase data would be applied. Have an email template that already works for you? Or have an idea for a new snippet to use? Create and save it for later use. It's worth noting that our templates and snippets were created to make outreach more efficient and effective. However, if you wanna mix and match the various dynamic variables that you see here to create your own custom emails, you're free to do so. This gives you the flexibility to try different messaging to find what works for you. To add dynamic variables to your email, template, or a snippet, just click on the variable icon and select your variables that you wanna include. Whether it's using our suggested templates or dynamic variables, Engagement Suite was created to help you build effective outreach. And that's a quick tour of Crunchbase's all-in-one prospecting software built to help sales professionals enhance their workflows and ultimately find and close more deals.